go ahead if you want. Good morning. We are on. Whoa, day 92? 92. 92. So, we got just over six miles to Front Royal. And it's almost all downhill. We got a little bit up left here and then up the fourth. The bottom and then on the way. Oh man. I'm out of focus that whole time. If Shaney's been good for one thing, it's been good for deer. Oof, I looked rough this morning. I noticed. This is the last time I think that we passed Skyline Drive, Compton Gap. Next stop is the entrance down this hill a little bit. I don't know if we cross the road there, but this is the last time in the park anyway. What, Caleb, sir? Straight out of Georgia. Straight out of Georgia. Compton Gap. This bunny is literally right here and don't care. down there too the bunnies do this they there they go usually they'll run even further down the trail and then start eating again and then they'll just keep running in front instead of dart off boom, -boom. shop outside End of the shinies. Bam. Who's will be here in a minute? And we get to keep our permit. All right, we just walked past the last sign, I think. It's a leaving boundary, so officially out. Shenandoah, I loved your backside, and it made up for your weak front side. <laughs> All right, so that's six and a half miles downhill. I didn't know there was going to be a bunch of dogs here, but there's a bunch of houses down here. So we were walking down to the road, and then we're going to hopefully hitch into town. So finally get some new shoes. My feet are killing me. There we go. Another successful yeah, hitch. Nice. Yeah, you're in, a, you're in a free section of the trail right here. Of course, I haven't been over the whole trail, so... All right, I got new shoes. I went with the Temps. They have a lot more cushion. And then I'm gonna try these Super Feet. I guess they're the new ones that replace the Trailblazer insoles. And see what happens. These ones have way more cushion than the Lone Peaks. They fit a little different, but whatever. I'm sure I can get used to that. And we are at base camp here. <laughs> And you get the free showers down there, free laundry. You got places to lock your stuff up if you really want to. Uh, they're all taken out. And then there are breweries right there. Outfitter, there's a movie theater across the street. I was thinking about watching light here, but that's a lot of time. And we're trying to get out of town too. So yeah, I'm get cleaned up and weigh myself with all this stuff on uh, down to 197. So that makes 23 pounds. Maybe a little bit more without, because that was with shoes and everything. So, bike. All right, so we got resupply done, new shoes, insoles, dinner, lunch. Just have to get back to trail now. It's uh, like 6.30. So we will not be getting to the shelter till nine-ish. That's for sure, because we still have to hitch back. And to be honest, so far these shoes feel uh, a little wonky, tight, whatever they are, my foot feel numb, so I hope that changes. All right, we got out of town a little bit later than we wanted, but we got everything done. Uh, plus some extras, no movie though. The shoes feel amazing so far. At first they were, I'm sure it's gonna take a day or so to get them to feel normal, but they definitely feel good on the bottom. And I tested it on the trouble spots. 
by standing uh, only on that spot on a rock didn't feel it so I can't wait and I'm hoping my feet feel better because that was really starting to get to me so we have like 5.6 miles and a thousand foot climb and it is almost eight o'clock so it's gonna be late yeah so we wanted to get out of town around five so we did not do that but whatever yolo oh and i forgot to mention that the shower the laundry and all the stuff in the base camp there free they had soap they had laundry detergent all of it free and you could charge your devices the only thing they didn't have is camping so shout out to whoever set that all up because that's amazing and you can sit at the brewery buy one get one free drink too while you're waiting on your laundry I mean, i'm not sure that's how they get some of their money back but that's still a heck of a deal all right i've made it up the hill and it's like 9 20 so that was about two and a half miles and a thousand feet it killed me i did not want to leave town and uh i set a time if we didn't have a hitch that I was just going to get a hotel room because it was getting so late. And then shortly before, someone gave us that hitch. So, anyways, yeah, 2.7 miles left. And like I said, it is 9.20, so it'll probably be about 10 or a little bit after because the rest of this is downhill, but it is a little rocky. And, of course, at night, so you can't go as fast nor do you want to and you gotta look out for other sounds like a big owl just took off from a branch and it scared me because it was pretty loud and it sounded much bigger than what i thought it was and then i heard it flapping in the air so yeah things are a little bit different in the night all right so i am point one from the shelter and i'm not gonna film and talk there because it's quarter after 10 by the time i get there so that's pretty good five miles thousand foot up and that's just over two hours not bad and in the dark i'll count that as a win so uh yeah that was fun and i've seen ray's rhino in the dark i'll put the picture up because i didn't record it there it's a little hard in the dark so yeah that's good we actually got into town did everything we needed and got out of town and still did 12 miles we could have did more to be honest but i'm happy with this because tomorrow we hit a thousand and i think we just got to do 20 and it'll be before the summer solstice for some reason that's a big day for koozie so maybe we can do something bigger for that day but until then i packed out a whopper so i'm going to eat a whopper for dinner and go to bed once i set up my tent and all that so you guys sleep well see you in the next one